Well, everyone, I think I've got time for one more video before I before I go uh, uh, hit the hay tonight. Uh, good evening, everyone. It's uh, just a little, we're in our, la in our final two hours of this Saturday, July 27, 2024 day. And I just want to say right now that um, that I just want to give you guys a uh, a review of one of my favorite television shows growing up. And and it has nothing to do with what has nothing to do with sports television. It has nothing to do with anime. It has nothing to do with animation. It has to do with the game show world. Two of which, in fact, I'm going to be talking about tonight: Wheel of Fortune and Jeopardy. Well, the reason why I like both shows is, is first of all, the, the original hosts. Chuck Woolery, Wheel of Fortune. Pat Sajak, Wheel of Fortune. Uh, and then the two main hosts of Jeopardy, the, the original ones who, uh, who both passed away. Art Fleming from the 60s and Alex Trebek, who hosted the show back in 1984. Now, the reason why I like most about Wheel of Fortune, well, bro, simply the contestants. Who 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 will go on the show, try and win a lot of money for themselves in cash and prizes, and also hopefully going home with a million dollars. So this is just one of the best shows I've ever watched. I watched it with my family multiple times. I watch it with my with my friend Alex Holdor most of the time, but only they they gave away a only they only they gave away the grand prize and the bonus round, whether it's the million or whether or whether it's the one hundred thousand dollars. So that's usually the only time I usually watch, whether it's with my family or whether whether I'm watching with Alex Hull when we do Wheel Bingo. And um, and yes, uh, Pat Sajak is retiring from uh, from the from the uh, from the uh, ri from the actual show itself. But however, he's not going anywhere just yet because he's got one more round of the wheel. With, with this, but only that time, it will be with the celebrities. Because Pat's final season of Celebrity Wheel of Fortune is going to be appearing this fall on ABC. So we do not want to miss that one. Hopefully they'll give away a million dollars on the Celebrity version before Pat leaves officially. So even though it didn't give away the million dollars in Pat's final season as host of, of, of the original, of the actual show itself. Hopefully they gave away the million on the Celebrity version like they did back in, back in 2021 when Melissa Joan Hart won the million. So um, otherwise... I think the bonus round was definitely worth worth the worth the wait because um they had because back in the day when they started back in the bonus round I think they had to play for a car, for some jewelry, savings bond. I think nineteen eighty seven is when they started to give away the cash in the bonus round. They started from twenty five thousand dollars, then they introduced the one hundred thousand in the bonus round in two thousand one, and then and ever since two thousand eight they brewed they uh, they presented the million dollars. Because you know you know how the million dollar wedge works, guys. You you uh, on on any turn of the wheel in the main game, you lay on the million dollar wedge, call a letter that's in the puzzle, and if it's in the puzzle, you get to pick up the million dollar wedge, and and you have to solve the actual puzzle in order to keep the million dollar wedge without hitting a bankrupt. And and if you keep the million dollar wedge all the way to the end of the game, if you become the winner, you take the million dollar wedge to the bonus round. And and they will take the one hundred thousand dollars off the wheel and replace it with the million dollars. So it's out there somewhere on the wheel. Holy, you can solve it, win the million, and the confetti will drop right on you. Holy, uh, it it has not happened on the actual show itself since Sarah Manchester won it in the start of season thirty two back in twenty fourteen. So uh, when the minimum back then was was uh, thirty two thousand dollars, now it's forty thousand. So. Looking forward towards a great uh, to uh, looking forward to Ryan's new first new first season on the job, and there are some rumors that that Ryan may not do so well in his inaugural season as host of Wheel of Fortune. So uh, I know there's been a lot of mixed reviews on that. There are people who are saying that that Van may leave and when uh, the show went after after Ryan's little thing with Jake. But you got but you know guys you have to you have you have to get you have to get Ryan the, the all the respect he deserves. This is his inaugural season. Those who want to change well, you have to see what Ryan does in this first season. He may stay for a while. I don't know. But I'm. But as far as Ryan being the host, I'm really getting tired of all these negativities about Ryan hosting the show. So, so please, guys, give Ryan 
the best respect he deserves, and please give Ryan a chance at hosting the show. These negativities about Ryan hosting has got to stop, really. That's my little rant for you guys today. But but other than that, we, we just give Ryan a lot of respect he deserves, and hopefully he will do a great job. But otherwise, um, anyway, other than that, um, the free spin was amazing. They had they just had like a free spin token, and if you land on a bankrupt or lose a turn, recall lead that's not in the puzzle. You can actually uh, decide whether you want to you want to use your free spin or t or keep until the next turn. And if you use the free spin, you, and if you have money, you can actually spin the wheel or probably call it or buy a vow at some point. But in, and since season twenty seven, they actually introduced the free play. Meaning, meaning, if you call a letter that's not, if you land on the free play, and you call a letter that's not in the puzzle, I mean, you don't lose your turn. You, and you could try to solve the puzzle, but if you're wrong, you don't, you didn't lose your turn. But on sadly, at the start of season thirty-nine, the free play wedge retired, and and they replaced it with a yellow eight hundred fifty dollar wedge. And season thirty was actually the last season with the jackpot round, and. And then season thirty one was when they was when they uh, brought the I think was the express wedge uh, yeah I think it was the express wedge, and we know how that works. Uh, you land on the express wedge, call letter that's in the puzzle, and you go for it. You keep calling letters, it'll buy vowels all the way. But if you miss any letter uh, during your during your during your during your journey, it's a bankrupt. So you don't want to you don't want to get a bankrupt when you call an incorrect letter, and. And and I that's the reason why the reason why I love about Wheel because uh, uh, great contestants, tremendous audience, and most importantly, the great prizes they have a lot of cash to give away. That's the one thing I love about Wheel is uh, I never get I we never get tired of of host game we get a lot of cash and prizes, mostly but most of all the announcers too, Jack Clark, Don Pardo. Uh, the show's current announcer Jim Thorne. Plus, we don't want to forget the the, the legendary Charlie O'Donnell. Charlie was just one of the greatest boys that we have ever, ever heard of, and uh, he really was incredible. He did a wonderful job. So, that's the one thing. I, those are the things I love about Wheel is the announcers, the host, the 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 actual game itself. Truly an icon. Also, also want to talk about is Jeopardy. Well, well, Art Fleming was the host of the show back in when the show premiered on NBC in 1964, and the uh, the 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 reason why the the start back in 1964 is because when they when they when they revealed the the actual board itself, they just uh, opened the curtains to reveal the board itself, and then Art would introduce the 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 uh, the six categories that are revealed for each round, whether it's the Jeopardy round. Whether it's double Jeopardy or whether it's final Jeopardy, and um, and 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 you know these and you know when they went and also also uh, with the with the, with the guitars and select the clue they have to Al, the Alex or R will reveal the clue on the board, and, and after the clue is read or whether the, or or whether the answer is fully um, exposed. That player could uh, could ring in and give the and give response, but they have to. But they must phrase the response in the form of a question. Uh, just so so those of you who will be on the show, remember to phrase your response in the form of a question. So be aware of the jeopardy. So, um, and the one thing I really one thing I really like most about the show is not only the game itself, but also the most important part of the show, and that is the daily double. Yes, the daily double. Me mean uh, if you find that what you know in the Jeopardy round there will be one daily double in the first in the you know there will be one daily double in the Jeopardy round, two daily doubles in the second round, but on the celebrity version they have a triple Jeopardy round. Meaning, you mean the dollar buyers will be tripled, and there will be three daily doubles on the board. So, so now in the on the actual sub nowadays the the first one the first one clues are worth for two hundred to a thousand, and then the, and two and four and four to two thousand the double. But on the celebrity version, they start with the Jeopardy round one to five hundred, two to a thousand to double, and then triple it's three to fifteen hundred. So, uh, a lot, of, a lot of money at stake. And plus, there's Final Jeopardy itself. So, however, if your score is in the red or or on, or on the zero dollar sign, 
that player will not will not be able to participate in Final Jeopardy. However, they do they usually go home with like the like the third place prize, and nowadays they go home with the consolation cash prize. Because back in the day, these they, the consolations were uh, like for instance they they would go home with a trip to um, Hawaii, a trip to Disney World, or something like that. But now they go home with the cash prizes as a consolation prize. Because back in the day, they start they had third place been going home with a thousand. Second place going home with two thousand. As of and as of this season, season forty, which just ended, which ended last night, uh, and the consolation minds have changed. I mean, second place will go home with three thousand, and third place will go home with two thousand. So it's we're, we're definitely worth the uh, worth the money. And and whoever won five, whoever and whoever had the most money at the end of the game become became the Jeopardy champion. So, um, you mean you have to win at least five games or go over the hundred thousand dollar mark to make it to the tournament of champions? And I've seen, and and you know, Frank Spangenberg became the alt, became the 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 um, I think was it the the first guy, the first person I think ever, uh, I think in the history of Jeopardy to go over the hundred thousand dollar mark in, in in his five in his five games of his Jeopardy run. And Frank returned to multiple to multiple tournaments. He returned to the uh, million. He made his return in the Million Dollar Masters. He was in the he was in the uh, Battle of the Decades. He was also in the uh, he was in the Tournament of Champions. He was also in the Tenth Anniversary Tournament. But I don't think. But I don't. I don't. I don't think he would make. He. I don't think he participate in the All Star Games. But. But Brad Rutter, the biggest the biggest winner in in Jeopardy history. Almost five million dollars was the all-time winner in the history of Jeopardy. Even though he did finish in third place in the Greatest of All Time tournament, even though going home with like two hundred fifty thousand dollars because Ken became the all the overall champion, winning three winning three games and winning three episodes in just um, in the four episodes that the, the Greatest of All Time tournament has been around. And then I think uh, and then when when Alex Trebek passed away in twenty twenty from stage four pancreatic cancer. That's when Ken Jennings took over as the host, and he's been the host ever since. And then he ho- he co-hosted the show with Maya Bialik until until to the until the time until the annou- until Sony announced that they had fired Bialik. And and I remember uh, Ken very well. He was a seventy-four time champ. He 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 finished in second place in the on all the tournament finals, including the Ultimate Tournament of Champions, the Battle of the Decades, the uh, the. The All Star Games, and then he came out as as the champion in the greatest of all time tournament. So uh, Ken did a one. Ken is doing one hell of a job of placing Alex as the host. And then, um, and then yes. So Wheel of Fortune and Jeopardy begin their upcoming new seasons. The Wheel's forty second season and Jeopardy's forty first season. They both start the new. They both start on Monday, September 9th. So please check your local license for time and channel in your area to make sure when when the new season will start. Again, Jeopardy and Wheel will return for new seasons on Monday, September 9th. So on behalf of Rodney and myself, please, no spoilers. Thank you very much. And, and I have to say this right now, guys. Uh, I think, yeah, also the tournament itself. You got you got the college championship. You got the tournament of champions. You have the kids week tournament. You have the teen tournament. You have the teachers tournament, the seniors tournament, the battle of the decades, and uh, I think the celebrity tournament, the power players tournament. A lot of tournaments that have, been, that have occurred in Jeopardy history. But if I had to pick one favorite tournament in all in all this in all the tournaments that Jeopardy has done, you could you could see the Gator logo on there, and that has to do with the college championship. Being one player and at the end of the finals goes home with a, not only with a check for one hundred thousand dollars and also a spot in the tournament champions, but they also get the Jeopardy College Championship trophy, the take home to their to their either college or university of, of this of the school that they go to, whether it's Florida State, whether it's the University of Florida, whether it's UCF, whether it's Baylor, or whether it's Texas A and M. That that student from that university would not only would go home with a check for one hundred thousand dollars for their scholarship, and also a spot in the tournament of champions, but they also go home with the Jeopardy College Championship trophy. So that's really why I like about the college championship is because the you have fifteen of the brightest college students from across the country.
competing for not only a spot in the tournament of champions, the trophy itself, and but most of all, a check for one hundred thousand dollars. So that's really like what the why that's the reason why I love about the college championship is because the great sense of humor from the college from the college students, and also, and also what I like about most is that. Uh, uh, the Jeopardy has brought the college championship to many college, to a few college champ, to a few college campuses around there. It started off over at UC Berkeley. They went to they went to a, they went to a University of Chicago. They went to the University of Washington, Seattle in 2000. They brought the college championship to UCLA in 2001. They brought the tournament to Ohio State in 02. They brought it to Yale in 03. They uh, brought it to uh, they brought it to uh, they brought it to Raleigh at NC State in 2005. They brought it to uh, they brought it to uh, I think to uh, to USC in, in 2007. And then the last time that the, the Jeopardy has had the college championship on campus was at the University of Wisconsin Madison in 2008. And ever since then, the college championship has been at at been taped at the Sony Picture Studios, which is the home of Jeopardy. Stage 11 or was it stage 10. I think it was stage 10 that Jeopardy has had. I think it was stage 10. But, otherwise, that's what I love most about Jeopardy and Wheel. So, great contestants, tremendous tournaments, and and also the host itself. A lot of money been given away, and a great prize is given away. That's why I love about, that's the, the, why I love about most about those shows. Because the contestants, the host, the prizes, the money, the tournaments, all, all that stuff. So, Wheel and Jeopardy, two of the best games of all time. Wheel of Fortune, America's Game, and Jeopardy, America's Favorite Quiz Show. The best shows that anybody can watch over the years. From Wheel of Fortune started in, in 1975 uh, on NBC. Jeopardy premiered on NBC in 1964. Wheel premiered in syndication in 1983. And Jeopardy premiered in syndication in 1984. Just one of the, two of the greatest game shows ever, and I really enjoy watching them every day. I know you guys do too. Uh, the, but anyway, that's gonna do it for my reviews of Wheel of Fortune and Jeopardy, two of the best game shows ever. I want to thank um, everyone for joining us tonight, and who knows what show reviews I have in, the, in another in another video. So be on the lookout for it, everyone. Thank you for joining us, and we'll see you next time as we and tomorrow actually as we kick off the Wacky Bowl tournament. In, in Animaniacs 10 pin now. You don't want to miss it. So thank you for joining us, everyone. Enjoy the rest of your Saturday, and I'll talk to you tomorrow. Have a good night, everyone. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.